everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm erin and if you like all things lifestyle vlogs unboxing and reviews you in the right place don't forget to go ahead and subscribe below because i do post two times a week that's sunday and thursday at 9 a.m on standard time so if y'all click on today's a video y'all already know i'm coming back today with a day in my life vlog right now it is currently 11 20 and i am supposed to be doing doordash this morning now i did actually schedule me a appointment to go to the dealership to get an oil change but the way it's set up and i'm not sure if anybody have chevys out there or gmc's or buicks but you can schedule a appointment through the my chevrolet app but the way they do it just because you scheduled an appointment if the dealership didn't confirm it it's kind of like the appointment is not confirmed so it's kind of like you really don't have an appointment nobody called me because i scheduled an appointment today for 1 30. so what i am gonna do is after i'm done making this intro i'm gonna just call them just to see like my appointment was never confirmed can i come in yes or no now they tell me don't come in and i gotta come another day okay cool i'm gonna just do doordash today also y'all i did receive my timu package and i'm supposed to be doing a timu haul and i thought about doing it for today's video and posting it tomorrow but with the timu haul i actually have to get that approved so i was thinking like okay if I make that video today, what if it's not approved in time? Then I won't have a video to post for Thursday. Y'all know me. I never, ever, ever miss an upload. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and do a vlog today. And I'm going to still try to do the video maybe like Thursday or Friday. And then see if it can be, you know, approved so I can upload it for Sunday's video. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And then also, I did go to my job interview yesterday. And let me tell y'all something. It was kind of like... Hmm. I'm going to just talk to y'all a little bit more about that later in this vlog because I was offered a position, but I don't know if I'm going to take it just because they wasn't really talking the cash money that I need. So I'm going to just continue to like apply for jobs and stuff and just go from there because who actually takes the first offer for a job? Yes, I know I want to get a job like right now, but I don't want to just take anything and then it's like I'm working a job and then I'm not making the money that I need to make, if that makes sense. And then also, I don't know what else I got planned for today, but if y'all interested in anything I just said, go ahead and stay tuned. But before we go ahead and get into today's video, do not forget to go ahead and give a, this video a huge thumbs up because it does let me know that y'all are interested in this type of content here on my channel and y'all definitely want to see some more in the future. So let's stop wasting time. Let's go ahead and hop right into today's vlog. I just got to the gas station, so y'all already know what time it is. It's time for us to put some good old gas in this car so we can do us some DoorDash. Here at this gas station, y'all, look at them gas prices. The gas was literally just $3.95, not even a day ago, essentially. I am finna put 20 in the tank, but I cannot believe we are back at $4.19. Like, can we get a moment of silence so I can cry? Because why uh, this is another reason why y'all yeah, cannot wait until i start my other job my security job so i don't have to worry about constantly needing to gas up the car every single day because i won't be driving as much so i'm definitely looking forward to that and y'all we are still in the middle of a heat wave even though it's not as hot as it was like a week ago which is a plus but it's still like 110 today so even though y'all can't tell it's definitely blazing so now that we got our good old gas let's go ahead and hop right into doordash in the next clip uh. many hours later all right y'all i just got back up in the house it is currently 6 40 p.m and today doordash was a complete bust which i'm not really surprised about this is the main reason why i cannot wait to get me a regular job so i don't have to worry about doordash or amazon just being just <sighs> being how they be 
So that's that. I'm pretty sure y'all did see that I did not go to the car dealership today because since my appointment was not confirmed, like I told y'all earlier, it's like I really didn't even have an appointment today. So when I called earlier, I was able to confirm an appointment at a later date. So I'm not sure if I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog that or not, but I guess we'll just see when the day get here. I'm pretty sure, let me see. I'm pretty sure y'all can see my Timu package right there in the back. Like I said, y'all just continue and stay tuned for my upcoming Timu haul, which I'm hoping I can get out either this Saturday or not this Saturday this Sunday or next Thursday I'm not for sure yes yeah so I am actually finna get ready and cook us some tacos because y'all know that's me and TJ favorite food and then after I cook the tacos I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit more about what happened at my job interview and a couple other things so if y'all have made it this far in the vlog, y'all know what y'all need to be doing. Don't forget to go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button below for more content like this in the future. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue today's vlog in the next clip. The next day. Good morning, hearts. Right now it is currently uh, 8-11. I got my iPad right here. And it's crazy because this video was supposed to be going up at 9 a.m. Don't y'all know last night when I told y'all I was gonna come back after I got done eating my food, but it seemed like anytime I cook and I eat and I'm doing a vlog, I always do the vlog or finish the vlog the next day, which is today. So y'all, this video will be going up slightly late, but y'all do not judge me. I do take accountability for that because I could have did it last night. I just was just, I ain't gonna lie, I was doing some lazy stuff, but I feel like better late than never. Now let me just go ahead and tell y'all about what happened at my job interview. So y'all know I did have a job interview this Tuesday, it was at 11.30. I'm not gonna mention the company name because I guess that really don't matter. So like I told y'all, they did offer me a position, but they only offering around $14.50 for an unlicensed security guard. Now, hit me out y'all. I get it, a job is a job, but $14.50 is not enough for me to realistically go and be working. And I just can't see myself wasting my time for just 1450. When I applied for the job, y'all, that the posting, the listing, which I found the job on Indeed, the listing did say anywhere between 14 and 19. But me not thinking like, why would somebody be getting paid $14? Now, what they said was they will file the guard card with DPS, I think that's what they call it and they will help me do the fingerprints. And then once I'm licensed, they will offer me 16 plus. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Well, Aaron, why don't you go get licensed and then try to go back and get the job or you know, try to do the next step then. And they offer a class where I guess they kind of like teach you some stuff that I already learned because y'all know I already did the guard card class course. Y'all know if y'all seen my vlogs. And that kind of like, made me mad a little bit because it's just like if i already did it why do i have to do it again like oh yeah everybody have to do it like so even if i would have came to y'all fully licensed y'all telling me that i would still have to sit through a class man y'all it is an eight hour class and it's unpaid that's another thing too brianna gonna say oh erin that company cheap because why is they not trying to pay y'all for I don't want to say it's orientation, but I guess in a way you can kind of say it's kind of like orientation, but we're not like, technically just because they offer me a position, that don't mean that I'm actually hired on to the company yet because I have to pass this class, which is some of the guard stuff that I already learned, plus some of the company policies matched in one. And it's like a 35 question test. And if you pass that, then they offer you, or then you, I guess, hired on. Now. They gonna start the process with the guard card and all that stuff, or finish the process as far as the fingerprints, the filing with the state. And they were saying like, we can hire you on as staff. Have y'all ever went somewhere to like an event or something, and y'all see people that look like security with shirts that say staff? When me and Brianna went to the Chris Brown concert, when was that? Was that like a year ago? I think it was a year ago. When we went to the Chris Brown concert, and I see people with shirts that said staff I thought that meant that they was just like staff of the event well technically that do mean that but it's kind of like they are security that's not fully licensed yet now I know what y'all thinking okay Aaron, how about you just try to get the fingerprints on yourself and file it with the state yourself and that way you don't have to try to do the job for the $14 start now you will still have well I would still have to sit through the class 
and do a test before I'm hired on. Why is it an eight hour class unpaid? That I don't know. I don't know nobody that got just eight hours out of a day, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, any day, to sit somewhere and practically work or learn something for free. Like, y'all can pay us for this, like, I don't know. Do y'all feel like I'm wrong for expecting to get paid for a class that y'all want us to do? Why do y'all think anybody got any free time to sit around and do that? So, I did tell the guy that I would come to the next upcoming class, which is Tuesday coming up. But when he called me to confirm it on Monday, I think I'm going to have to just pass because I, after further deliberation, I come to the conclusion that I don't feel like even if I was to be hired on for 1450, I don't feel like that's worth my time personally. Like, that's not gonna be enough for me to do what I need to do and more. Because if I'm just making that 1450 an hour, I would still have to do Amazon and DoorDash. Now this is the thing. My goal of wanting to get a traditional job was so I didn't have to feel like I needed to continue to do those type of jobs. I get it, y'all. In today's economy, due to inflation, all that good stuff, a lot of people is working gig jobs. But I feel like I should still be able to cover, you know what I'm saying, the bulk of my bills with my regular job's income. Not like, okay, I just got paid, but I still have to make up $300, so I have to do DoorDash, I have to do Amazon. Like, it shouldn't have to be like that. I can see if I just need to make up maybe like $100 or something like that. I don't know, y'all. I just don't feel like it's going to be worth it in the grand scheme of things. Yes, I have still uh, continued to apply for other security jobs. Another security company did reach out to me, so I'm actually going to call them today and see what they're talking about. Because I just, I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. I feel like this is just crazy that any company is out here offering people that little bitty money. Now, I feel like you can get back making $14.50 an hour depending on like how much your monthly bills are and X, Y, and Z. Like, I don't have a whole lot of bills, but yeah, I just don't feel like it's gonna be enough to take care of me, my son, bills, leisure. That's just not gonna be enough. Like, I feel like that type, making that type of money, you gotta be, I don't even wanna say a teenager. Just maybe somebody who don't have to pay for so much stuff, if that makes sense. That's why I'm thinking like, mm, I'm gonna have to just keep on looking. So y'all will still see me doing DoorDash and maybe even, maybe even a little bit of Amazon, which I really, truly do not want to have to do. But I know we all gotta do things that we don't wanna do. That's a part of being an adult. So y'all might still just be seeing me doing those type of stuff, on my, doing those type of jobs on my vlogs until I find a job that I feel like it's paying me what I feel like I need to be paid because Let's be for real, y'all. Who wanna work somewhere where you don't feel like you making enough to pay your bills? Like, no, I'm not gonna be busting my hump doing X, Y, and Z, and then it's still like, ugh, when I leave here, I still gotta cut the app on to go make some extra money. Like, I don't know, man. I just feel like it's highway robbery, if you think about it. Like, these jobs wanna lowball you and stuff. And I've been seeing people say stuff like, yeah, these jobs wanna offer you this, but it's like, the stuff is not, the income and the wages that they offering is not keeping up with inflation. So it makes it kinda hard for you to just be like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Because I'm not gonna be working three jobs. Like, I'm not gonna be doing that. I already work a lot as it is, and I get it. I'm a, I am I am an adult. I have bills to pay, which I do pay my bills every single month. Obviously, I still have all my stuff, but it's just still like, I do not wanna have to feel like I have to work three, four, five jobs just to pay my bills. Like, who wanna keep doing that? Like, can I just get a nice, decent little paying job? And it's just like, okay, I go to work five days a week, I make the money, and I can actually not have to work all the time, because I work all the time, y'all. Even though y'all don't, obviously y'all don't see that because I'm not vlogging every day, but I work a lot. So that was my whole purpose of getting a traditional job so I didn't have to feel like I had to work all the time. And me accepting a $14 an hour job, I would still feel like I'm on a hamster wheel. And that's my goal. I'm trying to get off of the hamster wheel for the most part, if y'all get what I'm saying. So that's what happened at the job interview. They did offer me a position. I don't feel like they're offering me enough. And I just don't feel like it's a good fit for me. And I will tell the guy that when he called me back. It's no disrespect to the company. I mean, y'all do what y'all gotta do. The wages that y'all offering may be enough for another person. It's just not enough for me. And like I said, I'm not gonna mention the company name on here because that really don't matter. It's just still like, I don't know, yeah. What time is it? It's 8.20 now. 
and I have to film an outro and then get on the computer and then finish wrapping this video up. So y'all can expect this video maybe like around 9 30, maybe 10 o'clock, something like that. So with that being said, y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below about the wages that this company is offering for a security job, a security can't even talk a security job position here in Phoenix let me know down in the comment section so with that being said let's go ahead and wrap up today's vlog in the next clip so if you made it to the end of today's video yes I see you and yes I do appreciate you if y'all want to see more content just like this from me on my channel in the future y'all know what y'all need to be doing yes I remind y'all at the beginning but you know I love you many y'all at the end do not forget to go ahead and give uh, this video a huge thumbs up because it does let me know that y'all are interested in this type of content here on my channel and y'all definitely trying to see some more in the future it will also help push me and my channel to a wider audience so we can hit 1500 little hearts aka 1500 plus subscribers here on my channel so we can continue growing here on youtube also, y'all know the drill. Y'all know what's coming next. Do not forget to go ahead and subscribe below because you already know. I do post two times a week and I never, ever, 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 ever miss an upload. Yes, y'all can. Fact check me on that. But before I let y'all go, I have to let y'all know that I do love and appreciate every single last heart here on my channel. Y'all know y'all forever. In my heart, and I will see y'all in my next upload. Bye, y'all.